Hello, I am Rajiv Gupta, a certified trainer and a senior technician at PCMacPlus.com. I am going to review the buses and expansion slots, which is a subsection of A Plus certification, domain 1, hardware, subdomain 1.2. Let's discuss the buses and expansion slots in detail. A question in your mind which is still unclear what is a bus? Well bus is a collection of wires and protocols that allows the expansion of a computer by inserting printed circuit boards. Traditionally PCs had utilized an expansion bus called the ISA bus. In legacy however the ISA bus had become a uh, bottleneck so nearly all new PCs had a PCI bus for performance as well as an ISA bus for backward compatibility. Another definition of a bus could be which is a collection of wires through which data is transmitted from one part of a computer to another. You can think of a bus as a highway on which data travels within a computer. When used in reference to personal computers, the term bus usually refers to internal bus. This is a bus that connects all the internal computer components to the CPU and main mem memory. There's also an expansion bus <coughs> that enables expansion boards to access the CPU and the memory. All buses consist of two parts, an address bus and a data bus. The data bus transfers actual data whereas the address bus transfers information about where the data should go. The size of the bus known as its width, W-I-D-T-H, width, is as important because it determines how much data can be transmitted at one time. For example, a 16-bit bus can transmit 16 bits of data, whereas a 32-bit bus can transmit 32 bits of data. Every bus has a clock speed which is measured in megahertz. A fast bus d allows data to be transferred faster, which makes application run faster. On PCs, the old ISA bus is being replaced by faster buses such as PCI, PCI-X, and PCI-E. Nearly all PCs made today include a local bus for data that requires especially fast transfer speeds such as video data. The local bus is a high-speed pathway that connects directly to the processor. Several different types of buses are used on Apple Macintosh computers. Older Macs use a bus called NuBus, which is N-U-B-U-S, but newer ones use PCI. A second question could be, what is an expansion slot? Well, it is an opening in a computer where a circuit board can be inserted to add new capabilities to the computer. Nearly all personal computers except portables contain expansion slots for adding more memory, graphics capabilities, and support for special devices. The boards inserted into the expansion slots are also called expansion boards. Expansion cards, cards, add-ins, and add-ons. We have something else. We have something that calls external bus or is also called an expansion bus. Expansion bus allows the CPU to talk 
to other devices in the computer and vice versa. It is called that because it's external to the CPU. It is a bus that connects a computer to peripheral devices. Two examples are Universal Serial Bus, which is USB, and Firewire, which is IEEE 1394. Contrast that with internal data bus. The bit width of internal and external data bus are not always equal. So let's take a look at internal bus. Internal bus is a bus that operates only within the internal circuitry of the CPU. Communicating among the internal caches of memory that are part of CPU chips design. This bus is typically rather quick and is independent of the rest of the computer. We also have another bus called system bus. A system bus that connects the CPU to main memory on the motherboard. I.O. bus which connect the CPU with the systems, other components branch off the system bus. The system bus is also called the front side bus. Another bus that we need to know is called local bus. A data bus that connects directly or almost directly to the microprocessor. Although local buses can support only a few devices, they provide very fast throughput. Modern PCs include both a PCI local bus and a more general ISA expansion bus for that devices that do not require such a fast throughput. Address bus is where it allows the CPU to talk to a device. It will select the particular memory address that the device is using and use the address bus to write to that particular address. Another bus we need to know is called data bus. It allows the device to send information back to the CPU. Another bus is called backside bus a microprocessor bus that connects the CPU to a level 2 cache. Typically a backside bus runs at a faster clock speed than the frontside bus that connects the CPU to main memory. Another bus we talked about earlier is called USB. It is an external bus that most popular form of bus used today. Over the past years, expansion buses have seen a series of turf wars. For a number of the years, the outcome was mass confusion. Intel brought peace to the battle of expansion bus in the end. Today's A plus exam reflects this outcome. And it is still possible to find computers with some of these earlier buses which we talked about earlier called ISA bus. That bus stands for Industry Standard Architecture. This was a simple bus. It offered an 8-bit data path and each card had to wait its turn if another expansion card was busy with the bus. That led to another model which featured eight expansion buses. When IBM released the AT form factor, the corporation extended the ISA slot with an extra connector to make the ISA an eight or 16 bit slot. By just adding the extra connector, the slot was backward compatible with eight bit cards. To this day, the 16 bit ISA slot runs at 8 megahertz. What 8 megahertz mean in real delivery of data on the bus? In plain English, 
and in today's world the nice world is legacy to to be more blunt today it is considered unacceptably slow by 1987 IBM was getting a bit annoyed as I mentioned earlier IBM's market share was dismal and getting worse IBM like Ford thought they had a better idea the better idea was PS2 computer series with all but the lowest end model featuring a new expansion bus known as micro channel architecture now while everybody agreed that MCA was a superior alternative to ISA <clears throat> just about nobody was going to pay the kind of money one dollar per slot per system board not even 32-bit performance nine-third party heavyweight computer manufacturers got together and created the competitive answer to MCA that answer was extended industry standard architecture EISA the open alternative was backwards compatible to 8-bit ISA as well as 16-bit ISA cards transfer rate screamed along at 33 megabyte a second makers of video card did not want to be making cards for ISA EISA and MCA what formed were the video electronic standard association called visa local bus VLB the VLB expansion bus was backward compatible at the ISA business end the extra socket was located at the end of the card Intel ended the bus wars for a number of years by releasing peripheral component interconnect expansion bus PCI the original PCI bus was similar in design to VLB with the advert of PCI version 2 it was no longer a local bus as it got down its own data path and designed to be independent of the CPU design most PCI buses operate at 33 megahertz offering a 32-bit bus using 124 pins the extra pins are used for power and grounding Adaptec had been champion of a 64-bit PCI bus utilizing 188 pins and being backward compatible with regular PCI by extending the slot just as in 8-bit to 16-bit ISA advances in RAM CPUs and even storage have reached the point where the ones waiting for other subsystems are close to saturating the PCI bus AGP was introduced by Intel in 1997 AGP advanced graphic port a 32-bit bus or 64-bit bus designed for the high demands of 3d graphics AGP has a direct line to the computer memory which allows 3d elements to be stored in the system memory instead of the video memory AGP is one of the fastest expansion bus in <coughs> uh, AGP is one of the fastest expansion bus in use but it's only used for graphic equipment PCI X is a high-performance bus that is designed to meet the increased I.O. demands of technologies such as fiber channel, gigabyte, ethernet, and ultra-3 SCSI. PCI Express, a high-speed serial I.O. interconnect standard being used for high-speed connection, it will eventually replace PCI standards all the way. Another bus that we should know is called AMR and CNR. AMR released in September 8, 1998, short for Audio Modem Riser, and CNR is short for Communication and Network Riser. This concludes the, this section. Don't forget to watch the part two of Buses and Expansion Slot. Thank you for watching. PC Mac Plus